The Department of the Interior manages the leasing of federal lands and waters for oil and gas production. These activities provide an important source of energy for the United States, create jobs in the oil and gas industry, and raise revenues that are shared between federal, state, and tribal governments. In 2010, revenues from oil and gas produced on federal lands and waters were one of the largest non-tax sources of federal government funds, amounting to around $9 billion. In addition, Interior has a responsibility to protect the environment and conserve the nation's resources on public lands and waters. The deadly explosion in April 2010 aboard the Deepwater Horizon and the resulting oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico make clear the importance of Interior's obligation to protect lives and the environment. My name is Frank Rusco. I'm a director in GAO's Natural Resources and Environment team. Interior has struggled to strike the right balance between encouraging domestic oil and gas production and meeting its other responsibilities. For this reason, in 2011, we placed Interior's management of the federal oil and gas program on the high-risk list. Interior has had difficulties completing production and safety inspections and maintaining reliable royalty and production data. Further, the federal government has generally collected lower revenues for oil and gas production than many other countries, as well as some states. Interior must resolve these issues to provide assurance that the public is receiving its fair share of oil and gas revenues. Interior has also had long-standing difficulty in hiring, training, and retaining staff in key skilled positions. Interior must resolve this issue in order to effectively and efficiently oversee oil and gas development on federal leases and reduce operational and environmental risks. In May 2010, the Secretary of the Interior announced plans to reorganize key components of its oil and gas program. We hope that this reorganization will eventually lead to efficient and effective management of these operations. However, organizational transformations are complex endeavors. They require the concerted efforts of both leaders and employees. Interior must stay focused on collecting revenues and leasing federal lands and waters for oil and gas development in a timely and efficient fashion without sacrificing environmental and operational safety. This will be especially challenging in the fiscally resource-constrained environment the federal government now finds itself. 